Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing a Brioni Eau de Parfum. This is from the menswear, sportswear designer house in Brioni, very high end clothing line for men. And this fragrance is something I was really excited and I've just been loving wearing. So if you'd like to know what I think about this scent, then keep watching. First things first, this was sent to me to review. I do have a 15% off coupon code. I will link it below. You can save 15% off in this fragrance or any other fragrance at the website, so avant-garde, so definitely check that out. Now, I do like to wear men's fragrances, and I am of the mindset that you can wear whatever you want. If you want to wear men's fragrances, women's fragrances, wear whatever makes you happy. But I also don't think that there is anything wrong with wanting to stick to fragrances that are on one eye side of the fragrance aisle. You wear whatever you want. If you purely, if I can say words, purely prefer to wear men's fragrances, if those are the types of fragrances that you like, this video is for you. If you prefer women's fragrances, then this fragrance probably will not be something that you're interested in. But if you're interested in learning a little bit more about it, then stay tuned. Or if you're just interested to know a little bit more about this really fantastic fragrance, then stay tuned. I don't know why I keep saying that. Now, if you are unfamiliar with who I am, hi, my name is Kristen. I am a fragrance enthusiast. I am not an authority on fragrance. I just like to sit here and share my opinion on fragrances with you guys. I am a fragrance collector. I like to share uh, reviews, recommendations, discussions, and the like. So if you enjoy that type of content, make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the little bell so you can be notified when I have new content. And also don't forget to click that little thumbs up button. That is the best way you can sort support my channel. I can't even speak today and I really appreciate it. Now, this fragrance, I will say one thing. And I'm just going to let you guys know. I've been wearing this fragrance for months. Love this scent. Loved it the first time I smelled it. But there was something about this fragrance. It smelled so familiar, not identical to something, but I was like, this smells like something. I don't know what it was. And usually, 99.9 .9 times out of 10 when I review a fragrance, I stay away from Fragrantica, I stay away from uh, other reviews, I, I run. I don't want to even look at them until I review a fragrance. But it was driving me crazy. I was like, what is, what is, what is this reminding me of? And I was like, I'm just, I, I need to know before I review this fragrance, because I'm gonna say something stupid on camera, like normal, and I just need to know. And it reminded me of a fragrance, not identical, but it was so reminiscent of something. And the second I saw it, I was like, that's it. And it's Fahrenheit. <laughs> and so many people were like, Fahrenheit, 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 Fahrenheit. And I was like, yes. So this does not smell identical to Fahrenheit. Most definitely. It smells like a distant cousin. But if you love Fahrenheit and like Fahrenheit, definitely just get a sample of it. Get your nose on this. It smells really, really similar, really, really slightly different, not slightly different, definitely different. But if you like that DNA, if you like the way that those fragrances smell on your skin and you're looking for something else, check this out. I think you'll enjoy the experience of at least smelling it once. The notes in this fragrance are very, not too, not too crazy. You got green apple, there's ambroxan, there's pink pepper, you have musk, violet, there's a few other things in there, but I really think we're going to focus on the violet, the pink pepper, and the musk. The apple in the opening is really nice. It's juicy. It's mostly tart. This is a very bright opening. This is a little heavy on the ambroxan. If you don't like ambroxan fragrances, I don't really think this fragrance is for you. But what I really like is the violet. So what I notice in a lot of men's fragrances, when they're focusing a lot on kind of more aromatic florals, you see um, more fragrances, more noses, more houses really lean towards like lavender. And I love it. It smells so good. It smells really sexy. It's so complimentary. But I love violet. And I think that violet is one of those fragrances or not fragrances, one of those notes that is such a chameleon and is so versatile in so many different ways. It can smell youthful, it can smell mature, it can smell powdery, it can smell sweet, it can smell aromatic, it can smell ozonic, it can smell masculine, it can smell green. It can really smell whatever you want it to smell like if you have it blended and paired properly. Now in Brioni, how it smells is musky and ozonic. And I really like that. Now the pink pepper in here with the ambroxan gives this fragrance a little bit of a sharpness, a little bit of a bite. 
and I like that the pink peppercorn was the chosen little bit of bite in this fragrance. And if you are familiar with my channel, I'm gonna go on my crazy long diatribe of pink peppercorn. If you are not familiar with my channel, channel buckle in, I'm gonna go into my weird culinary school um, definition discussion on pink peppercorn and how much I love this note in perfumery. Now, pink peppercorn is such a versatile, such a beautiful, such an important note in perfumes, especially if you want complexity, but you also want a clarity. If you want a bit of spiciness, but you don't want it to smell too sharp, too strong. And the reason is, is it has that sharpness, but there's some nuances in the background of pink pepper that has a little tiny bit of fruitiness. And it's not fruity, it, it's not a fruit. <laughs> it doesn't taste like a fruit, but that fruitiness really helps balance a lot of different notes and really helps balance different formulas. And what I like about that is that with the violet, it really helps balance the violet and works to make it a little bit more ozonic and pairs really gorgeously with the musk and just with that ambroxan makes it really sexy on the skin. Now violet sometimes can smell a little bit candy-ish, can sometimes pull a little bit too green, can sometimes pull a little bit powdery, and sometimes when you're going in with other notes, can get a little bit lost, a little bit muddy. And not muddy where it smells like mud, but you lose the nuances and the complexity. It all just comes together to be kind of more of a humdrum fragrance. You just smell it and you're like, eh, this isn't anything special. But what I like about Brioni is it's all balanced really well. Now it is heavy on the Ambroxan, so if you don't like Ambroxan, probably not the fragrance for you. But if you like Ambroxan and you're looking for something a little bit more ozonic, a little bit more musky, a little bit sexy, but still somewhat casual, I think you're gonna enjoy this fragrance. The violet is a nice, beautiful touch of something aromatic on the skin that's really sexy and unassuming, but at the same time is different, but is not pushing any boundaries or challenging by any sense of the word. And it just comes together perfectly in Brioni, and I've really been enjoying it. I do really love Violet in all of its iterations, and I love seeing Pink Peppercorn utilize brilliantly. And Broxen is a note that I have a love-hate for. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it, sometimes it's too strong, it's too overpowering, it's too much. In here, it's just right and it works just enough to be sexy, attention-grabbing, and a complimentary. So what I like about this fragrance is it's the perfect blend of everything kind of put together that's unassuming, but kind of unapologetically just like, here I am. And I think when I look at the type of clothing that Brioni has, it's very polished, it's very tailored, it's very distinguished, and it's very timeless, but at the same time, there's a little bit of something to it. And that's what this fragrance smells like. This smells like a very kind of timeless, men's marketed fragrance. When you smell it, it doesn't smell new. It doesn't smell like something you haven't smelled before. But that little extra kind of twist of the musky violet I enjoy, and I think it works perfectly on the skin. So I do really enjoy this fragrance a lot, and I like to wear it myself. It has a bit of cleanness to it, like clean, sexy skin right out of the shower. And I really, really like that. It just smells, there's something about it that's just really, really sexy. I like it. I think it's great. I enjoy wearing it. I wouldn't mind smelling this on a man. I think it's fantastic. Now, a lot of people worry about performance. And if you are worried about performance, I won't, I don't have too many bad things to say. I'm not going to be singing its praises, but I'm also not gonna be harping on it. So I get about four to six hours on my skin for longevity. I do live in Florida and I did wear this most of the time in the summer, but I just have to let you know, I get about best six hours. Longevity, okay, pretty good. Not amazing, but not horrible. When it comes down to projection and sillage, it's not a beast. So this will not be something you will be able to fill a room with, but this is something that if you are wearing, 
if you are social distancing, you will be able to pick up little whiffs of. It's not gonna knock you off your socks. It's not gonna fill a room. You're not gonna be completely blown away by it, but you'll be able to pick up little pieces of it. It does have a nice gentle <laughs> projection. Uh, nothing crazy, nothing beastly, uh, but a little bit. So it does have a bit of reach, but it's not gonna knock your socks off. So if you're the type of person that's looking for beastly longevity and performance, just based off of me wearing it, I can't sit here and say that it has it, but I do think that it has a bit of longevity and okay, moderate projection in Ziyash, so I just have to let you guys know that. Just my thoughts, again, my skin, my body chemistry, <laughs> living in the tropical climate of Florida, obviously different body chemistries, different environments, it will perform differently. But in any case, that is my review of Brioni. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you guys have had the opportunity to try this fragrance, I would love to know what you guys think, positive or negative. Let me know in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.